Yes, Mario 64 PC version running on the Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model. And uh, with a slight overclock, it runs with zero lag. Without an overclock, it was a little choppy. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to get it installed on the Twister operating system from start to finish. And then we'll play with and without an overclock so you can see the difference yourself. So I went to my web browser, I downloaded the Twister OS, I downloaded the 1.3. After you download it, you should be left with a .xz. I went ahead and 7-zip extracted it to its own folder, and here's my IMG file, image file. I put in a 64 gigabyte SD card, but really you could... So we want E, 64 gigabyte, okay. So we're going to format our SD card, format successful. I'm just going to use Win32 for this. And uh, we'll find, we want to make sure we have it on the right drive. And there's our Twister operating system. Twister on our H drive, right. Yes. I just let this go ahead and write. It looks fast. It's a small file. So about four or five minutes. Okay, the password is Raspberry. Hey, so here we are on the uh, GitHub, how to build builds in general, and you're gonna want the targeting 64 bit. So what you wanna do is just, there's a command line or terminal uh, hotkey on the bottom of your desktop there, or your, your taskbar. Go ahead and click it, and then you're gonna go ahead and copy and paste, and then enter, run this, um, this script. I'll go ahead and put links in the description. It'll say, do you wanna continue? Go and press, press yes. But I'll put links to these URLs so you can get to them, just copy and paste them into your own browsers. And then here is the Super Mario 64 PC version GitHub. And uh, you just want to get this code over here, click the code, copy that to your clipboard, and then go back to your terminal and go ahead and git space clone space and then just right click and then paste that, um, what you just got from your web browser. And then it's gonna start compiling all this. And I just started a new folder on my desktop to put all this stuff. And that's how easy that part is. And there you go. There's all the stuff from the GitHub now copied onto your Pi 4. Um, go ahead and get that ROM that I mentioned earlier. You want to go ahead and rename it baserom.us. And then leave the same file extension Z64. And then go ahead and add that to that directory you just made from the GitHub that extracted all those files. Go ahead and add the base ROM there, as you see I've done here on the left side. And then once you have everything in the right folder, just go ahead and write this oh, out. Wow, Make space target space RP1 equals one space negative J4. Hit enter. It's going to take a long time to compile all this stuff up. So wait a while. All right. It's finally done. Go over here. All right. Here it is. It's me, Mario. Nice. Hello. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. All right, this is before overclock. It's a little laggy. And now for the overclock. Yeah.
Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do two gigahertz. All right, it should be running better now that we're overclocked. It's me, Mario. Hello. Oh, it's running really good now. That quick little overclock did it. Hey, Mario. Please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. This looks really good. Rumble pack still works, that's nice. Yeah. 
Star, bro. You haven't seen these juice, bro. Oh, what now? So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that. It looks great, running great. You know, really, it's not that hard to do. If you do have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.